Hey everybody, it's Jeff. It's good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Um, I hope you're all doing really, really well. This is going to be part three of the uh, Mini Art Tempo A400, the little three-wheel vehicle. Um, this is uh, part of the group build sponsored by uh, Rob at Rims Models and Jason at Model Kit Stuff. Okay, um, there's quite a few people who've joined the the uh, group build. It's a lot of fun to see what everybody's doing. Um, just to mention, um, a couple days ago they invited me to go on a live stream where we showed our kits and things like that, what we're doing right now. So if you're interested in watching a replay of the live stream, uh, live stream that we did a couple of days ago, I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, it's about not quite an hour long. We talk about our builds and, um, you know, just kind of have a good time. Nice chat. All right. Um, made some progress on the kit. I've got the cab done and a few other things. But let's go down to the bench and I'll show you where I'm at, okay? All right. Be right back. Mini Art does not divide their instructions up into uh, individual boxes. They just kind of cram everything on the pages of the instructions. So I scanned the instructions in with a uh, scanner on my printer and uh, I drew a blue line around each separate instruction. Um, I've built several mini art kits in the past and uh, this is basically what I've done. Uh, I learned this trick from Jason at Model Kit Stuff. It's a really good idea to divide things up. Um, this particular kit, the instructions are really packed together. Uh, usually they give you plenty of space to where you can draw straight lines and, you know, and tell really well. With this, you really can't do that. Uh, they're the instructions are really really close together so this uh, we're gonna I painted up a lot of parts already uh, this is step one this is the floor this is uh, BA1 okay I did the inside in a light gray which is what the instructions called for and then the green will be the uh, be the the exterior body color green and white so I went ahead and did the floor of it in green. So I've done something a little bit different this time too. Um, I don't like gluing through paint if I can help it. So what I've done, uh, I just saw this on a video on YouTube. I can't remember exactly who did it, but I've used um, Elmer's. glue as a masking medium works really really well I've only used it on bare plastic I've not used it over a painted surface so I can't tell uh, how it's going to work for, for masking off you know um, when you're when you're doing your painting but as far as uh, the initial painting over bare plastic it works really well I just take a little toothpick um, as an example the back edge of this has no paint on it because I took a toothpick and I just went along and I put the uh, glue on it or yeah put the Elmer's glue on it and then once I primed it and painted everything I just came along with a toothpick and it just basically fell off same thing with this end um, I know it, the plastic and the paint are almost the same color, but where the battery goes, there's no paint there. You can see how shiny it is. That was real easy to do. Um, also, like here and here are glue points. Okay, and there's no paint there. It, it just makes it real easy. Uh, also on this piece, you can see on the ends, there's no paint because I just put a touch of white glue on there and then this is where the seat uh, 
will set. That's the locating place for the seat. So I just put a little glue in there and it just popped off when I was done. It works really, really well if you don't want to paint through your glue. Or if you don't want to <laughs> glue through your paint, sorry. Anyway, I want to start putting this together. I've got an awful lot of stuff all painted up, but uh, I don't have very much built. So let's start off here. Um, this will go... This is uh, BA6. This will go here. Okay. Just like so. So I'm going to put just a touch of glue on these two points. See that glue kind of got out on the paint just a little bit. We'll see how it goes. That's that's the downside to this is you know once you've got a painted surface you got to be careful uh, about ruining the surface. Okay. Okay. That's the first part in. Then we've got the brake lever. And let's see, get some tweezers on this here. See, I've still got a little bit of glue, of Elmer's glue on here. It just comes off in your finger. Okay, let's put a little touch of glue here. We'll go here. If I can find the slot. Okay. You can see the slot. There it is. Uh, something else about mini art is um, similarly to like wingnut wings and some of the other kits um, the tolerances are so tight that paint actually causes you problems so doing it like this hopefully it'll eliminate some of the issues of um, fit issues because of the thickness of the paint okay here this pedal here go here goes through the hole. Okay, I need to put just a touch of glue. Okay, there we go, that's the brake clutch and gas and the emergency brake. The gear shift lever is actually um, on the dash, okay, 
Alrighty, let's, oh, and I forgot the batteries. Let's go ahead and set the battery in there. The battery has got some detail on top, but the seat will cover it, and you won't actually be able to see it at all. So I didn't, I could have done the caps and everything, but I, I didn't. Alrighty. Here we go. That's the first step. And uh, give me a second and I'll be back and we'll do the uh, second step. Thanks. In step two, this is uh, part BA2. Okay. Um, step two is already pretty well finished. Uh, there's one small piece of photo etch that goes right here, PE6, and that's been been put on. You can see here where I've got, uh, I masked it off so that the, uh, there's another part that's going to go right here, so there's no paint for it to stick to. Um, I went ahead and painted this one already, the green. I did the firewall in the gray and then the, the upper part in the white with the, uh, I did rubber black for the gasket around the windshield. Okay. And then um, the gray will be the interior color. Okay. And the uh, um, dash here, I've already put the decal on, which will be in step three. Uh, I'm not going to put the windshield in yet. I've test fitted it, and uh, I don't know if you can even see it in there. But anyway, it all fits just fine. But I'm not. I don't want to put it on quite yet. Um, so this part here is pretty much good to go. We'll go ahead and move on to step three, uh, which will be. Let me see if I can move my instructions over just a little bit here. Um, in a lot of the European vehicles, they use what they call semaphores, and they were basically a type of turn signal. And when I got this, it came, it had a semaphore uh, on both sides. Um, the semaphores in this particular model are going to be moved back farther behind the doors, so the instructions tell you to cut these off and, you know, sand them down and clean them up. So that's already been done also. We'll have to glue some different semaphores that are in the kit onto the body farther back once we get to that point. Okay. Also, uh, there's a hole to be drilled. On the inside of the windshield frame here, there's four holes partially, uh, partially through. Uh, they're blind holes right now. Uh, by the instructions, we need to drill this one out over here, the one in this corner. Okay, the reason is that that's where the uh, the uh, rearview mirror will locate. Depending on which model you build, which Mini Art makes, I think six or seven of these um, will determine where the where the um, rearview mirror is going to be mounted. So. I drilled this hole out already. It's right here on this side, and that'll be where the where the uh, rearview mirror is going to mount. Also, on the inside of the firewall, I went ahead and put some silver on the back of the gauges just to make them stand out a little bit more. So, for right now, uh, on step three, since we've already got the semaphores off, we just need to add the uh, steering column and the brake lever and the uh, the uh, uh, wiper motor okay so I've got them here let's see there's the steering column I've already gone and put the steering wheel on it there's the gear shift lever and there's the um, 
wiper motor. Okay, so that's all the parts we need for this step. I believe, okay, yeah, there is a very, very slight little locator right there for the, for the, um, I don't think I cleaned the paint off there. Let's just do that a little bit. Okay, that's where the, that's where this is going to go, which is the, the uh, windshield wiper motor. Let's see if we can do this without making too much of a mess. This is so tiny, it's really hard to tell which way is which. And there's no paint on the back of it, so it should be good. Okay, that's the wiper motor. Okay. And the gear shift lever, I may need to Let's see, I may need to drill that a little bit. Let's see. No, it should be okay. This is going to be really delicate, but I think it'll be all right. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on this. And there's no paint on that. These are really unusual vehicles. I, I watched a video of this the other day, of one of these. And that's that's your gear shift lever. Goes through and connects to the engine. Uh, the engine and the transmission are all kind of one unit. But uh, the guy that was driving it, he was using this basically, you know, to shift gears um, through the dash. I guess it's kind of like a column shift, huh? All right, there's that, and then we've got a steering wheel to put on. Whoops, now that joint there is really tiny, and when I glued it, it just didn't seem to want to set up or something. I'm not sure. Whoops, see, and it came apart on me. I'll have to redo that. It's a real delicate little connection anyway. Let's see here. It doesn't have any paint on it. So it should be good. Okay, well, I'm going to have to Put some glue on it. See if I can get that through. There it goes. Just a little bit of glue made it. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that steering wheel off for now. Just because it's so delicate. Okay. So that should that should be step three. Okay. And let's see. Let's take a look at four. Okay. See, I forgot to draw the line between four and five. Which it's not a huge deal. But there's a couple of sub-assemblies here. So A is the steering box. And I have it here, I think. There we go. Here, there. Here's the steering box. Very tiny. And uh, we've got a couple of seats. And this is the 
gas tank, which is in two pieces that I've already glued together. Alrighty, um, let's go ahead and see what we can do about step three. I should say four. I'm going to be real careful about that back. This will go here. Let me go ahead and put a little glue on it. There again, I've masked it so there's no paint on the connection point. Get it to sit where I want it to. Okay. I believe that's about the correct angle. Looks like it. I'm looking through the steering column here down. It should all be pretty much in line. Yeah, there, there's the the uh, steering box right here from step A. And then we've got the gas tank, which has two pieces, which have already been assembled, which will go back here. Okay, and it's going to sit here. Whoops. That will go here. A little, I didn't mask that off. We'll just have to see how that goes. I might have to go back and scrape the paint. It's a little tricky when you're going through and trying to figure out where all the connection points are. Okay. So I made sure there was no paint on the top and I made sure there was no paint on the bottom and then where this goes through. Okay. That's going to do uh, step four. Well, no, they want us to go ahead and put these two parts together. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to just uh, up my uh, windshield wiper motor fell off. I must have bumped it. Okay, try that again. Uh oh, well, that's gone. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look for it. I'm not sure if I can find it. It's so tiny. I may have to just scratch something up for that. So, um, Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, those little bitty parts, I tell you. See how this goes together. Okay, this is going to go like this. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. We're going to have a little bit of
Okay. Really happy with those joints. All looks really good. Okay. Boy, that stuff's really, really delicate. So let that go down. Might need to touch that. Okay, and then the uh, lower seat is going to go, whoops, <laughs> bumping things. Wonder if that didn't go down far enough to stick. This goes over it. Okay. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and glue that. Battery just doesn't want to... I think it's not quite going all the way down. A little more blue there. Okay. Okay. Whoop. I'm going to get it right in the... It's like a teeter-totter. It's only hitting in the middle, but you want it even on both sides. So. Yeah, that looks about right. It looks like it needs to go forward. Okay, I'm going to look. Uh, I want to make sure that the back firewall fits okay. And here it is here. There. This will go here. underneath it hmm 
about right. Just trying to make sure. See, this heat just doesn't want to sit there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. We've got a long surface here. Or maybe I should be maybe I should be gluing the back of the seat on first. I bet I should. Let's go ahead and do that. May tie retire require just a tiny little bit of touch up. Not too bad. Okay. That's gonna complete step five. I did not do this extra here. Uh, let's back this out. Um, this is just, it's not even going to be seen. It's just going to go run under the seat. And then the windshield wipers and this little hook are going to be extremely delicate. So those are going to probably be put on at the very end. Okay, so I'm going to look for that little wiper motor. If not, I'll have to scratch build something. But um, we're probably long enough for, for this video. So I'll be talking to you real soon, okay? Have a great day. Okay. Made some progress. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.